What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and today I am taking a look at a new game from Ten Tons called Dismantle, launching in early access the 6th of November, so next Friday. As always, full disclosure, this copy provided by the publisher. So, what is Dismantle? I've played about 20 or 30 minutes so far. I will show you this survival crafting top-down video game. So, here I am. There are zombie type creatures, and I have a set of missions here. You can see in the upper left hand corner, got missions, and I got a map here in the lower left, and my inventory of what I'm currently carrying on the bottom, my current weapon here, and things saying, hey man, do some stuff, and my current level here in the upper right hand corner. So, here is my dude. I have a crowbar, I can run. I can whack things, and doing the whacking gives me the the items for my inventory. Some plastic and some wood, and that will play into the crafting system. There is a survival type, there's temperature, and things to keep in mind at certain points in the game. This is still early and it's launching in early access, so therefore it is not a complete product as of yet. But from what I've played so far, it's pretty cool. So. Let's do some combat here with this zombie. Hey, buddy. They will slash at you. It is kind of just dodge and whack them. And they will also hear sounds that you're making, like any good zombie fiction has. The sounds will attract their attention. So I can move the camera here. I can search and... Oh, that one throws poison at me. All right, haven't seen that yet. What the hell? What the hell? But unlike a lot of games that might be like this... Uh, the resting mechanic at the campfire, and there are multiple campfires that are around. When you rest at the campfire, the enemies reset. And the enemies are no joke here. So if you have more than one at them at a time, you're going to get messed up pretty bad. It's going to go bad for you. So there is a definite amount of danger here in dealing with these zombies as such. But I just died for the first time. So hopefully that just puts me back, back where I was. Yeah. Okay. So what just happened? So not exactly a roguelike or roguelite as this as this company is known to do, but we also have a lock-on mechanic here and I can definitely get behind and be stealthy and hold the attack to get a much bigger attack like that. And maybe now I won't attract... See, now he's like, huh, I didn't hear anything. What I wanted to do was search this drawer here for some cloth. But with his back turned to me, I can lock on. Sneak, 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 sneak. And then give him a big whack. And that was still not enough help there. So, all right. Maybe I'll have better luck this time, but maybe not. With his poison garbage, which I'm not a fan of. Buddy. Just dodge appropriately. It's a little bit timing to get it. Just, just go. There. New monster slain. The ex-human hurler. So that was a problem. Let's hop in here and search this dresser and find some more cloth. I don't have a pot yet. My, my current mission here is to get a pot to cook in. And I need four ceramic to do that. But also, we can go craft some knives. That hasn't happened yet, so let's go do that. Also, give me some of this scrap iron from this grill. Yes, thank you, please. And, oh, I didn't even see this before. Loot the body. Didn't even see that before. All right, cool. So, first and foremost, put our stuff in the trunk. This will carry across all the different trunks that are in the game. And then camp at the campfire. And so I have the invent and craft menu, right? So I want the pot to cook in. I don't have enough there. You can see it kind of does get a bit uh, excessive here, but this is still in early access. So there's still things to discover, but give me the knives, craft them. I have knives now and they have a limited use, but get replenished at the campfire when you rest. So, oh, Okay, is that equipped or is that... I gotta actually go in and... Alright, it is Y to do that. 
So we still must invent a pot to cook in and then cook this tomato soup. So we have this map here, campfire. We had the link tower, campfire, and we started up way over here. Now you can see you zoom out here. Oh my God, it gets pretty big. I don't know how much of this map is actually in this build of the game, but so far I'm in this caged suburb and there are quests I can't take just yet because they're behind locked doors or behind a certain level that I am not at just yet. Again, we're still learning things pretty early on in this build of the game. So let's keep on poking around and see if we can't figure out just what in the blue hell I should be doing. But also try out our new knives and see how that is going to play out, uh, if you will. So, see, I don't have a lockpick yet. And that, I would assume, is on the tech tree, and it needs to be invented. But not there just yet. And there are, I think, five radios in, in, in this area. I, I've heard two so far. So what we're going to do here is we're going to give them a whack, and then we're going to throw a knife. The knife! The knife! There we go. Okay. I have four knives per resting. And I, I would imagine you could increase that by increasing the durability or, you know, one of those type of deals. So, what does this say? What do we got? I know how to dodge roll. Come on now. Been doing it the whole time. Relax yourself. But, here is where we unveiled the map at, which is this thing right here. And, I don't think we... Oh, I've been spotted. I've been spotted, so... When there's more than one, it becomes... Tricky. Oh, there we go. Dodge him. Roll him. So yes, I think this game is definitely more ambitious than games I've played from this studio in the past couple of years. And I'm happy, because man, I like their games. And this seems really cool. It gives you a more directed experience than I think a lot of crafting and and travel games do. Where they kind of just, let's watch you into the world and say, hey, just go explore and find stuff where I have missions to go do and I am just kind of on my way to go do them but we had these gates that gotta get opened here and there's a big old guy over there and same thing on the other gate there's a, a bunch of guys so I can't open the gates yet in the game but they are that way so I don't know how this is gonna play out let's go over here and look cuz I oh right right those barrels are red, red, red barrels in a video game they're probably going to explode. So I would say don't whack them, probably, if you could help it. That was gross. I haven't actually tried to whack them yet, so... I've been around there, though. You can go around through the yards. That's easy enough, but... I don't know if I will die from this immediately, or I'll get like, a timer. Um, you just walk through these? No? Oh, wait. I have a knife. That's not enough. All right, well, look. Live and learn, and then do it differently. But, back to rest. Actually, back to my stuff in here. Materials. You can only carry so much at one time, so that's important to realize. And you have upgrades here, right? So I can upgrade. Backpack, crowbar... And the knives. So yes, from four to six, if, if I had more plastic. But my crowbar, kind of like my main deal here, so I'm going to upgrade that crowbar to a level two crowbar. And then, again, all of these zombies are back to life. And that's a thing to definitely worry about when you're dealing with what's going on here. But let's try to get back up there where it's pointing us towards and see what there is to see. And it is this big old, yep, the false gatekeeper. Oh god. This is probably gonna go terribly, terribly wrong. Emojis. Hit you. Oh, yep. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna puke. Don't, no. All right, here's a giant health bar at the top there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
Whack him. Whack him. And dodge. Alright. Oh, don't want to get caught in the puke. Don't want to get caught in the puke. Just, there. Yeah. Oh, God. Not cool, bro. Absolutely not cool. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. 480 XP. And now I can open that gate. Awesome. Well, maybe? Yes. Okay. New monster sighting, the false gatekeeper. Fan freaking tastic. And blue eye orb. Hmm. That's interesting. How do I get back to where I need to go to? Oh, just go around. When in doubt, just walk around. And also, this is right here, so put that in there. And my health is fine. I, I should get more knives, but you know what? Let's just go back to the link tower and link it up and open the gate. Oh, really? Bro. You know, I was doing some things. You're in my way. There we go. More plastic. More plastic. Okay. Now, the east gate is open. And we can proceed in dismantle. So, west gate, not so much. But the east gate is indeed open. And that will, you know, make some progress. But again, it's still early access and it's not finished game yet. So... There's only so much you can do here, but still, a couple of hours uh, of things to do. And that was kind of the opening area, and I guess we get to roll the credits, which is pretty cool. I had no idea. I had no idea. But yes, as someone who is generally not a huge fan of either crafting or survival games, this is pretty neat. And I'm enjoying what I've played of it thus far. Like, giving me a more... Uh, strict path to go on, but still giving me enough freedom to figure out what I should do with that uh, is pretty neat. And that's, you know, good time. So let's get to where we're going here and find out what the next part of this thing is, or if I got to the end of the, the, the intro here and that's all there is to it. I don't know yet. We're going to find out here pretty quickly. And would you look at that? Yet another fire but i have to wonder what's going to happen when i want to go back to where i was there were more missions there level three light the fire you can see there are 10 fires four of 10 in this build in early access so what happens if i go back where i was like i can just run through it that's funny yep look at that straight line to where I was, but they had to have that in here for the uh, intro stuff. That's pretty funny. Okay. And we got signs. Alright, cool. Cool. And deer! What up, deer? Doe. A deer. I don't want to hit the deer. That's not nice. Will, this, will these zombies atta attack the deer? Yes, they will. Huh. But the deer are faster. Cool. Anyway, let's push on a little bit further and hopefully be able to craft this cooking pot would be nice. I'm not going to say it's going to happen, but it would be ideal in this video. And whack this garbage can. Oh, hell yeah. I did that. Okay. More guys over here. That's blocked. Open that. Nothing to search in here. Nope. What a waste. I think eventually you can destroy the walls in this game, which is, which is also awesome. So I love any game that has dis destruction in it. Big fan. So looking forward to that. But so far, just... Also, I didn't rest there. I don't have my knives back, which sucks. I need my knives back. Come on now. Yeah. They hit pretty hard. At least this early in the game. So we're going to camp here and get my knives back. Oh, a new skill. Okay, 10% uh, weapon damage of the, the knives, fast learner on experience, and uh, more experience points gained for storing materials. I'm going to take the fast learner. More XP, always a good thing to have. Now, what else can we craft? A baseball cap. Alright, still the knife. A bag of blood? What the hell? 
Alright, well... Are we at? No, we need a lot more plastic on that. But also, you can track that material to find it out easier. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Okay. Gonna try to push forward a little bit farther. And maybe get a cooking pot. But also, gotta fight these guys again. Which is not cool. There's... Oh, really? Really? That was not... That's three of y'all. The aggro. All my knives. Take that. For just some pieces of fabric and some scrap metal. Well, and you might have heard that, but guess what? I'm going this way. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry your pretty little head off about it. I want to steal some things from this car. And hey, more scrap metal. I need eight metal. Because that's why I, I wanted to track was the ceramic for the, for the pot. Because I got plenty of metal. It's not like that's easily findable. But the ceramics, not so much. I don't know where that would be or who would have that uh, here in this world of dismantle. But be that as it may, maximum gas station. That's a zombie wolf. I kind of don't want to fight that. Be beware the dog. That is a big old... Yeah, he seems pretty mad. He seems pretty mad about it. Let's not deal with that at the moment. That would be prudent here. Uh, especially since my knives are gone. So, alright. Back through the woods. Ooh, a bush. Yes. Mash the bush and get some berries. Aw, hell yeah. Okay, well, in any event, this was a brief look at Dismantle, launching in early access uh, the 6th of November, which is next Friday, from 10 tons. I think, it's, I think it's real neat. And also, them zombies will kill you real fast. So, I'm the Tax Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time. And I'm out.